Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new episode of Kristen's Kitchen. It feels so right to be able to say that again, and I'm just so happy to be able to be back in the kitchen baking and cooking the place that I love most in life, really, with you guys. So today, as you probably saw from the title, we are making banoffee pie, and I thought this would be perfect because it's super simple, but it's also like unique and delicious. So I thought something like bread might be a little too labor intensive, especially because I just can't stand for super long periods of time. So this will be a perfect thing to get back into the rhythm of baking again. And the first time I actually had banoffee pie, I was in Spain with my family. I was like 16 or 17 and we walked into this cozy little restaurant, ordered banoffee pie and my life was changed forever. So banoffee pie is basically like a buttery graham cracker crust layered with caramel, fresh bananas, homemade whipped cream, and then you grate chocolate on top of it, and it is so, so good. I actually already made one little part of the recipe because it took three hours to make. I'll get into that in a second. Let's just get started. I had a tricky time finding a recipe I wanted to use because there's so many different variations of ways that people make this, and they're just like slight variations, and I couldn't decide. Oh. My butter's melted. And I couldn't decide which one to choose. This is a recipe that originates in the UK, so I found a recipe from Mary Berry, who is like the queen of British baking. So she has a really good recipe, and there's also this recipe from the blog called Salt and Baker, and I think I'm gonna be combining different methods from both of them. So the first thing I did was I preheated my oven to 350, and we're gonna start on the graham cracker crust. I have not bought graham crackers in so long, and these look, these look like they're smaller than they used to be when I was little. Doesn't that look thinner than a normal graham cracker? Anyways, I'm gonna put 11 whole crackers into my food processor. Okay, and to the graham crackers, I'm gonna add six tablespoons of melted butter. This butter is sizzling. Okay, I'm gonna pour that in there. Now I'm adding one and a half tablespoons of granulated sugar. I keep my sugar in this huge jar because we go through sugar a lot. And then we're gonna do a little sprinkle of cinnamon a fourth of a teaspoon to be exact. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. And we're ready to food process. Be prepared for a loud noise. Okay, I'm gonna scrape down the sides a little bit. Now I'm just gonna pulse it one more time. I think that should be good. And that's it for the crust. Here is the pie dish I'm gonna be using today. It actually has like a removable bottom, so once the pie is done, I can kind of just go bloop, and it will come right out, which is very handy. Camper, I wish you guys could see, he's right here. He's just waiting for me to drop anything and everything. So here is, I think, what the texture of this mixture should be. Now we're just gonna put it right into our pie tin. Spank it out a little bit. Now we're just gonna press it down into the pan and I think we're also gonna bring it up to the edges a little bit so it creates a little bit of a border for our pie. So I actually didn't end up pressing the crust up to the sides because I think I like to kind of see the layers in a banoffee pie, but honestly, I think you can do whatever you want. I'm popping this into the oven for about seven or eight minutes to let it get all nice and crispy. Now we're gonna be starting on our filling. Our filling camper. Are you ready for filling? Okay, here's where things get interesting because I basically attempted to make the caramel or the dulce de leche that goes on top for like the filling. And so one way I've heard is a super easy and efficient way of doing it is taking a can of sweetened condensed milk, taking off the label and basically simmering it for three hours. So that's what I did this morning. Now is the moment of truth. Did this work? Online it said to not use a pop lid type can because it can actually explode. But this one, it didn't explode. And look at that color. 
I cannot believe it worked. For some reason, I was like, I'm gonna fail, and I'm really happy that I didn't fail, and that looks so good. I have to taste this. Oh my gosh, heaven on earth, true heaven on earth. Neither of the recipes technically said that you had to do this with the sweetened condensed milk, but I think if you didn't do this, then you would have to just cook it and let it set for a lot longer than now that it is like already a thick caramel. I think we only have to let it rest for like an hour. So what we're gonna do now is take one stick of butter, which is half a cup, and we're gonna melt that with half a cup of brown sugar. Then we're gonna pour this deliciousness over the top and just let it get warmed up. Okay, now we're adding this heavenly, like what even is that? Just pure heaven into the brown sugar and butter. Now here's what the mixture looks like. It's kind of bubbling up now, so I think it's done. Here we have the beautiful crust. It's just perfectly toasty. And then here's our butter, brown sugar, and caramel mixture. And I'm just gonna add this. It's like had a very thick, amazing consistency this into this oh my gosh ah that's hot that's way hotter oh, oh, oh. i just burnt my finger so bad guys don't be tempted by the finger licking because you will burn yourself here is what it looks like oh my gosh it's beautiful i'm gonna pop this into the fridge for an hour or until it feels like it's set and then we'll come back and add the bananas add the whipped cream okay so it's been a little over an hour and it's already set and it actually says in the recipe to let it set for like two hours maybe three hours but i think the fact that i made the caramel for three hours like boiling it and then added it to the other ingredients made it set faster so i think you could just kind of do it either way you want but let me show you what it looks like oh, oh, oh almost dropped it here she is in all of her beauty she's set let me show you just like solid to the touch not all gooey anymore so i'm gonna put this back in the fridge while i make the homemade whipped cream i had a little bit of a panic because i thought i didn't have enough heavy whipping cream but let me show you how much I have left. I have exactly one and a half cups. Well, a little bit less than one and a half cups, but it's pretty much perfect and that's a God thing. Now we're gonna be making the whipped cream that goes on top and I'm so excited. Homemade whipped cream is so delicious and also so easy to make. So let me show you what you need. Okay, to our bowl, we're gonna add about one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. Make sure it's cold. You can also speed up the process by using a metal bowl that's been in the freezer for a little bit to chill, but we're not doing that today. I also have this massive jar of powdered sugar. One, two. Now we're just gonna whisk this all together until it turns into like a thicker whipped cream consistency. Now that I have whipped cream everywhere, it's all in my hair, all over camper, all over my counter, we have whipped cream. Let's give her a taste. Here's the consistency. She's fluffy, delectable. Now we cannot forget to get our bananas. So I have two bananas over here. They said to use bananas that are just ripened. So you don't want them, you know, too green or too brown. And we're gonna slice these and put them on top of the caramel layer. And then we're gonna add our whipped cream. And then we're gonna top it with our chocolate. There's no really rhyme or reason to the way you put these on top. I'm gonna add like an inch around um, the edge just so that you know, when the whipped cream is on top, there's like a little border, but I think you can kind of just do it however you like. Okay, here it is. It looks so beautiful. Look at this, John. Actually, 
Okay, now for the best part. Lots and lots of homemade whipped cream. Big dollops. Look at that. Oh my gosh. If you're not doing a mound, you're not doing enough. Right, John? Mm -hmm. I'm really dragging John into this video right now. So now we have something that looks like this. So to finish it all off, this. So if you use a peeler with your chocolate, it will give you like those nice little like ribbons, like the little flaky ribbons. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's see how this goes. I've actually never done this. I've only seen it on TV. Oh, wow. Look at the slivers. It's pretty fancy. I'm doing a lot because more is better. Okay, are you ready for the actual final best part? <gasps> wow, does it look good? I had no idea what you were doing. It looks amazing. Dun da da da. Here is the final Banoffee pie. It looks so good i love how you can see all the different layers the graham cracker crust the homemade caramel the whipped cream the little shaves of chocolate okay everyone dip dip Ooh, it's kind of... and say your grace thank you jesus no, i'm not that's one of the best yeah that is stupid delish i was lost for words for a second dude what is this, it's Chris? It's creamy this and crunchy. Mm -hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? There's so many layers hitting me. <laughs> when you get through one, you're like, dang, that was good. I'm like, oh, shoot, layer two. Whoa, that really complimented. And three's like, oh my gosh, I'm in love. This is my favorite dessert you've ever made, actually. Yeah, you did Stop. it. Good job. Bro. Are you serious? I'm not, I'm, eating, eat, I'm not even eating sweets, but I am now. Mm. Love it, man. You love it? Mm. Should I bring some to JC and Lake? This is impressive. You want it? Oh, you need to make this because it's easy to make, fun to make, and the crowd will love you. Is it fast? Quick to make too? It's pretty quick and easy. Yeah. Like total all together, mm -hmm. like actual active baking time, I would say like 25 minutes. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up, up if you enjoyed. Don't forget to. Follow John Volk. Yes. <laughs> Follow John Volk on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll have the recipe, of course, linked down below. Love you guys. See you in my next one. Comment down below maybe what you would want to see me bake next. Mm. Love ya. That was so good. Goody two shoes good? Like beyond good, goody two shoe good. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm.